welcome back to DJ Tommy, who's playing the beats that you love to hear. And we're calling wicked, Milton. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Calling. Callie. Callie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds like your workout. Oh, don't get me started on the workouts, yo. Hello? Hello, is this Milton? Yes, sir. Milton, how are you? This is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. I got my good buddies Tommy and Felix in the studio. Say hello, fellas. Hey, what's going on, Milton? Hey, what's up, Milton? <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? We're... Doing all right, man. I'm I'm coughing up a storm. I, you know, I'm just I'm, I think I'm sick. I'm gonna cough in uh, in Paul's direction, and hopefully that works. <laughs> well, welcome to the yes, show. Sir. Uh, we were introduced to you by uh, one of your fishing buddies that was on last week, yeah. and uh, he told us a lot about you, and uh, we're happy that you agreed to come on the show, and you sent in uh, just that uh, huge fish. It's a monster gar, and oh, uh, we want to right. hear where you caught that fish, uh, the bait that you were using, and the, and the size of it, and uh, tell us about your show, tell us about your Instagram, where people can follow you. And uh, let's hear all about it. Yeah, this for sure, This is your man. podcast. Uh, thanks for coming on, Milton. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate you guys having me on. And yeah, uh, Corey's a great guy. He's a he's an up and coming uh, great angler. He's a very good guy. Um, and luckily, the guy lives uh, lives a couple blocks away from me. So we met online, and he ended up living not too far from me. Nice. But uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, that fish was caught. Uh, in 2017, um, we were we were uh, out on the Trinity River. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys know, but the Trinity River here in Dallas, Texas, is a is a world famous river for for trophy alligator gar. I did know that it is a uh, alligator gar river, but I did not know it had uh, trophies in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we do a lot of guiding out out of the river. Uh, down south, but uh, that fish was actually caught maybe 15 miles from downtown Dallas. Wow. That is insane. Yeah. yeah. It was a, uh, it's a true alli- uh, alligator gar. Uh, it measured six foot, ten and a half inches long. Oh my God. Um, wow. Yeah. And the girth was uh, 38 and a half inches. Wow. Dude, it's almost as big as you. That's almost as She's big. like as three me. feet taller, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I just if I was an alligator gar, I'd be three inches shorter and Short a and whole stony. lot bigger. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, your circumference. Yeah, is my circumference. What am I? The world? <laughs> he is here. Your your equator, your equator is rather is large. <laughs> the radius of of you is a little bigger than that gar. <laughs> yeah. So. uh... It actually, uh, we caught it early in the morning at, at around eight. Um, we, what we use is, is sometimes I'll throw out a huge bait, and, and in my in my mentality, I'm like, okay, nothing is gonna touch this bait unless it's a, a true monster. Um, so I took about a uh, a pound, a pound a carp head. So I cut the head off. Wow. I put it on a on a rig. And threw it out and set out there, and next thing you know, the line was screaming. Wow. That... <clears throat> yeah, he. Was... Go ahead. No, no, no. I mean, I honestly, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm mesmerized by this story because I honestly. The uh, hard part is you got to catch a fish before you catch that fish. You got to well, get a carp. Well, here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. But so anyway, that's out for us. <clears throat> no, dude, I'm, I'm, an alligator gar is one of my like bucket list fish. That and a Goliath grouper, I, they are. I mean, yeah. and, and I would I would love to go and catch one. So I'm I'm totally into this story. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, the power that these fish have is just once you hook it, you really can't do anything but hold on. So uh, the fight was on. You know, as soon as uh, as soon as uh, I saw the line take off, uh, it was early in the morning, and we had fished overnight. Um, so we were half asleep, sitting on the side of the river. Mm-hmm. Um, the the reel's just screaming. So I just run to it and, and 
set the line, but of course there's nothing I can do because he's pulling drag. He's just pulling drag, pulling drag. That rod is bent. Um, so we use steel leaders. Yeah, we okay. make our own leaders. Um, and uh, this was probably a three foot leader. We have to use leaders that big uh, or that long just because sometimes uh, if the line rubs against their teeth or their body, yeah, then you'll automatically break off. Yeah, right. So uh, I knew he was on, and, and I fought him. I, uh, the way these fish fight is uh, is they'll run, and then you can bring them towards you. Mm-hmm. Once they they see once they see the bank or touch the bank, mm-hmm. they just take off the opposite way. And all you got to do is hold on. And they're just like, <laughs> nope, I'm not coming this way. Just a tug of war. That's, so like, it, that's you, like me at a salad bar. But yeah, no, I mean that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I walk up to the bar and I'm like, mm, nope. Where's the uh, where's the meat part at? Wasted space. <laughs> nobody, nobody. So is there a best yeah. time of day? Look, I, I hear you say that you were fishing overnight. Is uh, is there a better time to catch uh, those those gars? Is it uh, nighttime or is this morning bite? Is is there a preference or you just happen to be out there at that time? You know what, me in particular, I like fishing for gar in the evening. Uh, overnight and, and early in the morning. Okay. Um, I guide for them, so so my guided trips now. I start at seven in the morning, mm-hmm. um, so that I can be set up at seven thirty eight. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So Corey told but, us uh, he had a hike in about a mile. Is that uh, kind of the same spot? Well, uh, he was fishing for that big old catfish. He so yes. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's it's a part of the river, uh, but no, th- this is a part where I can drive in and actually back up into. Perfect for hard, us. It's hard yeah. yeah, it's hard to get in because uh, you have to have four by four, and you have to have mud tires to get in and out. Oh, okay. so, we, so we can't we can't take the Prius. Is that what you're telling us, <laughs> Paul? Sorry, you can't go. <laughs> well, we can get uh, good we gas mileage on the way there. <laughs> yeah, I've got a I've got a 21 foot boat. Uh, center console, so we, we can go another route, man. Oh, we'll be a lot more comfortable the, the There you go. Nice. See, there we go. Hey, it's only 20 hours from here to Dallas, man. Yeah, well, it's yeah. not so bad. Yeah. We, 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 we've driven, <laughs> we've driven what, 13, 17, 17, 17. 17 hours. So that's not so bad. We could do it. Uh, when Corey told us to hike a mile, I thought, well, that's not going to be a trip Tommy will ever see. Uh, but no, the, I'll you know, see the trip. I just won't see where we end up. I'll yeah. just stop at the edge of the thing. I'm like, nope. As soon as you see water, let's just throw that. See, here's the problem. But Milton has a boat. Here's and a, the problem. And, and when truck. I start walking, like hiking through shrubs and bush and stuff like that, people try to you take start pictures. To, like, eat you know, it. people take pictures and stuff because they think they've seen Bigfoot. So they're like, you know, next thing you know, I end up on the Sun or the the Inquirer, and people are like, "Oh my God, Bigfoot found in Dallas!" And it's just a fat guy <laughs> walking through the t-shirt. bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Sasquatch, we see it. They're like, we've seen the Sasquatch, and it's like, no, man, it's just a. Fat dude. He's trying to catch a fish. <laughs> it's just the outsiders. Yeah, it's just the outsiders, all three of them. Oh, man. But, no, seriously, yeah, dude. You know what? There's, there's only two boat ramps here in the, in the Dallas area, and they're one hour away from each other. So, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, getting to yeah, getting to this river, um, it's, a, it's a challenge. It can be a challenge. Oh, I'm sure, man. I'm sure, like, you know, crowds awesome, up and everything. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. I'm, so you're a, you're a star of the Hit Show River Monsters. I hear you uh, you did that. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, what you do there, and are yeah. you going to be on the show again? And uh, Instagram, well, all that. Well, let me uh, let me clarify that a little bit. I work uh, for the guide service that that took uh, Jeremy Wade on River Monsters. So I'm I'm a guide for a gentleman named. Uh, Bubba B. Dre, mm-hmm. uh, and, and uh, the name of uh, his guide service is Barzilla. Okay. Uh, so that's Barzilla. the company that I Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's Barzilla Guide Service. He, he aired the show, I think, 10 years ago. Um, and since then, you know, he's been, he's been out catching monsters. And uh, um, I took him out on a catfish trip on my boat one day. Uh, we, we, got, we got along. Actually, he took me out on a catfish trip on his boat. Nice. And we got along very well. Yeah, we got along very well. 
Um, then I asked them, hey, what are the possibilities of me, you know, doing guides for you for catfishing? Um, and then he started seeing the, what I can do as far as gar, you know, catching big gar. So uh, we came to an agreement, and I joined his team two years ago. And uh, congrats, we've been catching monsters ever since. But uh, awesome. there, there are a lot of shows, man. With this guide service, Garzilla Guide Service, there's a lot of shows. There's a show coming out where he took uh, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oh, nice! Wow. Yeah, he took uh, Gordon Ramsay gar fishing, and uh, they actually cooked the gar on the side of the river. Wow. wow, that's awesome. <laughs> we'll we'll keep our eyes yeah. out for that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and if you like, I'll see what I can do. If you guys can can interview him and do a podcast with him, um, he's uh, he's doing a lot for for bar fishing. He's a board member uh, for the Texas Park and Wildlife. Uh, he's an advisor, I believe. Nice. So not only are we catching these, these big fish out here, guys, uh, we're we're teaching uh, awareness. You know, and and uh, CPR, catch, picture, and release. Mm-hmm. Um, so so we're handling these trophies with care, uh, and we're releasing them safely back into the river. Wow, that's awesome, man! Like yeah. like I said, good, dude, that, good to know. Good to that's, hear. That's, that's a total bucket bucket list fish for me, man. That's I I've always wanted to, you know, growing up and being out here in Southern California, we are very limited as to what types of I mean, we, I mean, we have plenty of fishing. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we, we can go out to, I mean, yeah. as close as we are, we can go out to the ocean. We can come back in and fish some freshwater, but nothing like gar. And that's, that's just yeah. one of those, that's just one of those fish that for me, it's like, man, I, I've got to catch one. Well, thanks for everything you do. Catch and release. It's a, you know, that's, that's, that's good for the sport. It's Absolutely. fun for everybody, families, uh, the, and just new anglers, people out there for a good time um and and for just uh the fish itself he gets to fish and swim another day there, there you That's go right. there you go <laughs> swims enough yeah, to so, get caught so another actually, day uh, yeah the, the whole team is actually working with uh texas park and wildlife and we're we're actually tagging alligator guard now nice uh, nice yeah yeah we're tagging them we're reporting our findings to the texas park and wildlife and uh they're they're taking records, you know, and some of the fish that we caught this year, um, particularly females that are over seven foot, six foot, seven foot, uh, are estimated to be seventy to eighty years old. Wow, wow, Paul, that's almost as old as you. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm forty, so yeah, yeah. that's all right. In yeah. fish years, fish years, in fish years, in yeah. fish years. Okay, yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, uh, we got all of that great stuff going on. You know, we're doing a lot for the community. Um, we're, you know, I've got a YouTube page. Um, yeah. It's called uh, the Vegas Box Kilos. Uh, you can find me there. I've got a few videos on there. Um, I just started working on it this year, so. Um, but I've got a lot of footage. You know, editing videos is is when you're as busy as I am on the water. Editing videos is the last thing you want to do. Oh, I know. <laughs> I feel your pain. Uh, we have video footage, yeah. and it just uh, there's a lot of software, and it's fun. It can be fun, but it's time consuming. So we certainly understand that. Our YouTube has only been up for about a year now, too. I mean, we had it for the first year and did absolutely nothing with it, and now Tommy's having fun with it. Um, but yeah, video, yeah, I do video stu- I do videos are videos. tough to just uh, once you're once you sit down in front of your computer, it'll get done. But it's getting to that point. Yeah. But we'll check out your yeah. YouTube. Feel free to share your uh, your channel on our, any of our pages uh, so you can get some more okay. followers that way and we'll help Absolutely. promote in, in yeah. any way. We love what you're doing for the species itself, the research, uh, and uh, the community. So, yeah, feel yeah. free and, to, to and, post anything. And, Milton, we're going to, you know, if we can put together something, I would love to go out to Texas, dude. I would love to go to Dallas oh, and, yeah. uh, and fish some gar with you, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh we're I think my May my May is already completely booked. That's how how, how good things uh nice. are uh, going good for you so far. Congrats, yeah. man. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Um yeah, well let just let me know. Um and, and I'm pretty sure we can do something, take you guys out and catch a fish of a lifetime. Yeah, that'd be awesome, yeah, man. That'd be cool. 
Yeah. Awesome. All right, man. And, uh, no, if that... anybody wants to follow me on, on Instagram, it's uh, c dash lows nieto 81 um, or you can find me, just look up Extreme Trophy Fishing. Uh, that's my my uh, uh, fishing apparel line. So Nice. Anywhere you see Extreme Trophy Fishing, you can find me. Okay, cool. And so we could find uh, your fishing line via Instagram. You have some uh, product on your page. Uh, do you have a website? Uh, how do we find that yeah, stuff? Yeah, there's a, there's a website link on there. Okay. Um, just go to, uh, go to my uh Instagram, cmeshlosnieto81, um, and you'll find everything you need there. You'll see uh, links and different pictures of, of catfish because that's what I'm fishing right now. It's blue season. Um, but you can find everything, Gu- uh, guided trips, information, pictures of giant fish, um, just a whole bunch of people out having a blast enjoying nature. Cool, yeah, as long as uh, Tommy needs about a 4X, and so for the big fellas... We, uh... I don't need a 4 you No? Are you monkey? 3X? I'm a you two. lost weight. Tommy went on a diet. I'm a 2X. Oh, he's 2X now. Okay. <laughs> Trying to make me seem like I'm some sort of behemoth. <laughs> well, we, we've had somebody come on and say, like, hey, do you have a 6X? And I didn't believe him. Yeah, I did not believe him, but he actually... Re- he he uh, gave me his uh, Instagram and... Uh, he was a big he, dude. He really did need a 6X. Six, six hey, X. dude, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. People, you know, big is beautiful, man. <laughs> big is beautiful. All right, so Extreme Fishing the Clothing point. Line. Uh, we'll take a look at it. And uh, please continue to send in the the photos to us. We'll share them with uh, everybody on the I'm an Outsider Fishing Group. Yep. Uh, and then, um, you know, come back on the show anytime. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. I love the fish story. People are going to find out how to... Catch big fish, uh, big gars, and uh, you know one day we, uh, we'll break Tommy's uh, piggy bank, and then uh, we'll ha- we'll take a road trip or, or fly over there yeah, and get him on the river. Yeah, I don't know if I, that's gonna happen because that that piggy bank, if you break it, this a moth is gonna fly out. Okay, we'll that's use a- your tax money, <laughs> just like the most a lot of people when they buy yeah. new cars and they got it repo. Like I go on fishing later. trips. I'm like, yeah. Just don't get a new car because it's going to get repoed anyway. And, and then yeah, we'll just yeah, go to yeah. Texas. Yeah. 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 I don't need a new car. I'm okay. Well, it's I'm just okay. what people do. You know, yeah. it's like, hey, I got money to buy a car and then they can't make the payments. Yeah. And then that's it's repoed. Yeah, you know, you've done true. that a few times. No. So. No. That's why, you know, that's why you, you, you got to, sometimes you, you know, you got to crash the car so you can make your uh, insurance, insurance payment. Claim? I got you. Well, you got to make your insurance payment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Milton, it was a pleasure. Uh, we will keep in touch. For and sure. uh, from all of us here at Outsider Tackle Box, uh, tight lines. Tight lines, bud. Fish more. Tight lines, bud. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate you guys having me on the show. We appreciate uh, having and, you. And yes, I'll be, I'll be sharing, following your page, and uh, doing, doing what I can to help promote you guys as well. Same Thanks, message man. offline. We're going to send you some free stuff uh, for coming on the show. I almost forgot. All right. All right, bud. Take care, man. Bye.